Power. Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Miss Stevie. Today I'm going to read you the book, Farmer Smarts, Fat Cat. Farmer Smarts, Fat Cat. By James Sage. Illustrated by Russell Yato. Farmer Boast lived next door to Farmer Bluster who lived next door to Farmer Smart, and each thought his cornfield was the best. No doubt about it, claimed Farmer Boast. My cornfield is the best. It isn't, argued Farmer Bluster. My cornfield is much better than yours. Now, Farmer Smart knew that his cornfield was better than both of his neighbors, but he was much too modest to say so. One day, much to the dismay of all three farmers, they discovered that mice had been eating the young corn. Jumpin' jackrabbits, groaned Farmer Boast. Would you believe it, moaned Farmer Bluster. Dear, oh dear, mumbled Farmer Smart. To teach those mice a lesson they would never forget, Farmer Boast and Farmer Bluster each set out to build the perfect mouse trap. They hammered and twisted and pushed and pounded away all day and most of the night and part of the next day too. Those mice will soon learn who's boss around here, bragged Farmer Boast. With my invention, they don't stand a chance, gloated Farmer Bluster. And when they had finished, they just couldn't help sneaking over to inspect the other's mouse trap. What a piece of junk! smirked Farmer Boast. He hasn't a clue, snickered Farmer Bluster. But there was one teensy weensy problem that neither had considered. It seemed the mice weren't interested in either mouse trap. They had better things to think about. While the mice stuffed themselves, the cornfield of Farmer Smart remained strangely untouched. It's time we got to the bottom of this and maybe mosey over for a little look-see. Which is what they did. And it wasn't long before they discovered the real reason behind Farmer Smart's amazing success at keeping the mice away. It was a fat cat. Farmer Boast looked at Farmer Bluster and Farmer Bluster looked at Farmer Boast and they decided there and then to steal Farmer Smart's highly efficient mouse catcher. They left no stone unturned, but Fat Cat was nowhere to be seen. Guess there's no way out of this one, muttered Farmer Boast. You can say that again, sighed Farmer Bluster. Now, now, my friends, there's no need to feel so glum, said Farmer Smart. I think what you may be looking for is over there, resting in the hay. Only, she's not quite so fat anymore. And sure enough, there was Fat Cat, much slimmer and very, very pleased with herself. <gasps> Kittens! exclaimed Farmer Boast. A whole litter! gasped Farmer Bluster. Now you can have foolproof mouse catchers too beamed Farmer Smart. Soon the kittens grew into fat cats themselves, and the fields of Farmer Boast and Farmer Bluster looked every bit as good as that of Farmer Smart. I call him Butterbeer, mine's two-ton Tessie. But secretly, all three farmers thought his fat cat was the best. To me, she'll always be fat cat. Thank you so much for joining me for Farmer Smart's Fat Cat. I hope you enjoyed this book. Happy learning!